We all know what calories are, but how many calories do we actually burn when we're out and about riding our bikes? Well, the short and easy answer is that, well, there's no short and easy answer. Without further ado, the first step on the long answer is to define exactly what a calorie is. Now we've all heard of them, but did you know that there are two different types of calories? One is a small calorie and the other is a large calorie. And you can tell the difference between the two because the small calorie is written down with a small c and the large calorie is written down with a capital C. Now they're both units of energy. The small calorie is the unit of energy that it takes to raise one gram of water one degree Celsius. And the large calorie is the unit of energy that it takes to raise one kilogram or one liter of water by the same amount of temperature, so one degree Celsius. Now unfortunately, the calories that we see written down alongside our favorite foods are the large variety. So to give you some idea of how much energy is needed to burn them off, take a typical slice of pizza. Now they come in at around 250 calories. So that would take the same amount of energy as it would take to raise 250 liters of water by one degree Celsius. So that's like heating a bath full of water up one degree Celsius. Now, I'm sure we're all fully aware of the basic mechanics of losing weight. Essentially, if you consume less calories than you burn, you'll lose weight, and if you consume more calories than you burn, you'll put on weight. But exactly how many calories do we need per day to maintain the weight that we have? Well, if you're a man, that's going to be around 2,500 calories, or if you're a woman, that's going to be around 2,000 calories a day. But bear in mind, these are averages and they will vary from person to person. Around 70% of those calories that I mentioned are purely to power the body's basic functions. So things like keeping you breathing, keeping your organs working correctly, and keeping your body temperature stable. But obviously, if you were doing a lot of physical exercise, you would need considerably more calories, and that would depend on the intensity of that exercise. Now, it's important to know how many calories cycling burns for a couple of reasons. Obviously, if you're losing weight, it's a good figure to know so you can incorporate that into your daily nutritional accounting. But if you're going on a long ride, so more than a couple of hours, it's also good to know what kind of fuel you'll need to be taking on board to replace the energy that you're losing. And here, boys and girls, is the complicated bit, because we don't all burn calories at the same rate. It depends a lot on several factors. So you need to take into account your age, your gender, your current weight, and your basic metabolic rate. Also factor into that the intensity of the cycling that you're doing, and you can see that there are several sets of numbers that you need to crunch before you come up with an even vaguely accurate answer. Now, for most of us, a rough ballpark figure is accurate enough. But if you want to be super scientific and accurate about it, the only way you're going to do it is to literally go into a lab, do one of these tests where all your um, gases are measured, and then that will give you an exact figure of how many calories you're burning. But bear in mind that will only be valid for that particular test on that day. It won't be very accurate taking into account when you're actually out on the road facing the wind and facing the climbs. A less accurate method but a far easier way is to use your power output and a bit of maths to calculate how many calories you burn per hour. 
Now the disadvantage of power meters are that they are quite expensive and we don't all have them. And to be honest, if we're not racing cyclists that need to worry about our FTP every five minutes, they're probably not the sort of gadget that I would recommend. On the other hand though, we all have heart rate sensors and you can get an equally accurate measurement using that to base your calculations on. So the big question is, exactly how do you calculate how many calories you burn per hour while cycling? Well, if you use the heart rate method, there are several ways that you can do this. For me personally, I like to use apps like Strava or Garmin Connect or Polar Beat. You simply put your maximum heart rate in and then the software kind of works out how hard you're working and then gives you a very approximate figure of how many calories you've burnt. Alternatively, you can go over to a very clever little website, which I believe is run by Casio. Now they make pocket calculators, so if they can't crunch the numbers accurately, I don't know who can. The, the website is free. You just go on, you put a few numbers in like your age, your weight, how fast you expect to be cycling, and then it will do all the calculations and give you an approximate figure of how many calories you're burning per hour. The website is completely free and I'll leave the details below in the description to this film. As I say, Measuring the exact number of calories that you're burning per hour cycling is rather difficult and probably won't be that accurate at the end of the day anyway, in which case it's far better to have a reasonably accurate ballpark figure and that way you can incorporate it into your calculations a lot better. So if you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching.